If you have an Apple Watch and are looking for some awesome timer apps to track your CrossFit workout, then stick around because in this video, I'm gonna be going over the top two timer apps to track your CrossFit workouts on your Apple Watch. Hey, my name is Michael Groff, and the goal of this channel is to help new CrossFitters get fitter, faster, and stronger in the sport. I review CrossFit-related products and share tips that have personally helped me in my CrossFit training. So if you're new here, consider joining the team by subscribing below and hitting that notification bell. So the first app is called Multi-Timers. Now the reason I like this app is you can set multiple timers and save them. So for example, the WAD Cindy is a 20 minute AMRAP. So you can create a timer on this app and name it Cindy and set it to 20 minutes. And anytime in the future that you do Cindy, the timer's already saved and ready to go on your Apple Watch. Now there is a free version of Multi-Timer and there's a paid version. So in the paid version, you get unlimited amounts of timers that you can create. However, in the paid version, you're only allowed 12 different timers. Now to create a new timer, you tap on the gear icon up in the right hand corner, and then you tap on a timer and then it will bring up a list of options. In those options, it will have an option called copy. What you do is you tap copy and then it will copy the timer. So then you tap on a timer that was copied and then you edit it like the name and the duration of the timer and things like that. So on multi-timer, you can create custom timers on your iPhone and then it will sync with the app on your Apple Watch. Now on the Apple Watch, you can customize the timer's duration, but you cannot customize the name. So any further customization, you'll have to head to your iPhone for that. Another cool thing about the multi-timer app is if you are using it on your iPhone, you can lock the screen. So that means your timer will not be interrupted if you accidentally bump the screen. You have to manually hit the unlock button. Now, if you do choose to get the multi-timer paid version, you can add your custom timers to different folders for organizing purposes, and you are giving a timer journal. So you can go back to your journal and see when you ran certain timers. So that can be helpful. The paid version of multi-timer costs $7.99, and for the features that you're given in the paid version, it's not really worth it. So if you're gonna download multi-timer, you're gonna be just fine with just the free version. The last timer app, which is also my favorite, is called Seconds. As with the multi-timer app, Seconds does have a free and paid version. However, you don't get much functionality with the free version, so I would suggest upgrading to the paid version. Now the paid version only costs around $3, so it is extremely worth it, especially with all the cool features that you get included. So much like multi-timer, you can create custom timers as well as creating custom folders for those timers. And the cool thing about Seconds is it's a fitness timer app, so it has all the features you're gonna need for timing your workouts. For example, you can create just a basic custom timer that counts down from let's say 20 minutes down to zero, or you can create a more complicated timer. For example, I created myself a timer for my sprints. I sprint for 20 seconds and I walk for a minute. And this is very easy to set up in the seconds timer. As you can see, I created two rounds. One round is for 20 seconds and one round is for a minute. And I labeled the round for 20 seconds sprint and I labeled the round for one minute rest. And then I told the seconds app to repeat those two rounds 16 times, which equals around 20 minutes. So as you can see, when you start the timer, it starts with the 20 seconds, just like I wanted. And then after the 20 seconds is done, then it goes to the one minute rest. And then it continues to repeat this 16 times until my sprint workout is now finished. However, there's a ton more features included in this app, including timers customized for hit workouts, to battle workouts, and a lot more. Another cool feature that's included in the seconds app is the ability to add warmups and cooldowns to those timers. So you can say on this workout, I wanna warm up for five minutes and I wanna cool down for five minutes. You can add those to the front and back of the timer and it will include that in the timer. Another thing that I really like about the seconds app is you can add corresponding workouts to your timer. So back to my sprint workout again. I told the app that when this timer starts, I wanted to start a running workout. So what will happen is when you start the timer, it will automatically create a running workout on your Apple Watch. And when you end the timer, it will end the workout as well, which is really cool. You do not have to start a workout and then start a timer and then end the workout and then end the timer. Everything's all done through the timer app. Another cool thing on the Seconds app is the ability to set timers for your interval and circuit workout directly from your Apple Watch. It's extremely easy. You just go into the Seconds app on your Apple Watch and you tap on short intervals. From there, it walks you through all the settings to set up the timer on your watch. It'll start by asking you how many exercises you're wanting to complete, how long you want to do each of those exercises, and how long you want to cycle through and rest during those exercises. One downside to the seconds app is other than the quick intervals on the Apple Watch, you cannot customize your timers on the watch. You have to create the timers and customize them on your iPhone and then sync them with your Apple Watch. And I do believe your watch has to be within range of your iPhone in order for the timers to show up on your watch. The data is not stored on the watch itself. 
So that is the top two timer apps for the Apple Watch. And tell me below in the comments, what fitness apps are you currently using on your Apple Watch and why? I'd love to hear about it. As always, thanks for checking out this video. And if you found value, consider smashing that like button. And if you want to be a part of the team, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I post new content weekly. See ya.